Hi everyone, welcome back to Ras Aquaculture YouTube channel. In this video, we will do a quick review of the shrimp farming in the May of 2021. So let's go. For this year, we have three 20 ton tank. So we have tank 1, tank 2, and the last one we just stopped is tank 3. Okay, so for this tank 1, we have stopped with 340 pl per meter cubic, and tank 2. We have stocked with 380 PLs per meter cubic. And these two tanks, tank 1 and tank 2, we have stocked in the grow out for 60 days. Okay, for our nursery site, we have cultured the PL for only around 2 weeks. Okay, next we will go to this tank 3. For this tank 3, we stock with 220 pl per meter cubic and this pl we have transferred into the grow out for 9 days doc now i'm going to show you the shrimp from tank 1 Now this is the shrimp for tank 2, it's uh, almost the same size like the previous tank. For both of this tank, tank 1 and tank 2, we put this net so that the shrimp didn't die from jumping out. This is uh, especially when the shrimp already more than 10 gram, we need to put this net. This is the shrimp from our tank tree. It's very low stocking, so that's why when we try to scoop out, not a lot of shrimp. In our previous setup in tank 1, we used normal aeration and also oxygen cone to increase the dissolved oxygen level inside the water. For tank 3, we use a nano bubble technology. This is how the system look like. When you take the water sample from the system, you can see that there is a bubble particle inside the water. But currently, we are still experimenting. Due to the evaporation, we still need to top up the water into the tank so that we can maintain the salinity and maintain the stocking density of the shrimp. After the settling tank process, we still have a lot of slush inside the settling tank. So what we do every day, we need to do a deslush process to remove all the slush and all the solid waste from the tank. This is how the slush look like. Initially, it's very wet after the dislash process but after some times of drying you can see that the slash is quite dry and ready to be used as bio fertilizer okay we have reached at the end of this video we will update again everyone when we are at the end of the harvest stage thank you for watching